your other arm across the shoulder. Okay. After I okay. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. So when we go into flexion, you can kind of hold on to their lumbar spine again because we're really trying to get as much uh, thoracic flexion here. And what you want to do is make sure that you're keeping their shoulders over their pelvis. So when I come down, I'm bringing his body back a little bit and then get that as much flexion as possible. And, we're, and this is where you can really start stressing with different structures. If you're looking for pain, you can have in, oh, I only get pain when I'm sitting for 15 minutes. Okay, well, let's let's put you in a position that you probably sit at and then hold that for not 15 minutes, but you're going to be putting excess, more stress than he does when he's, when he's sitting at work. So you're just going to, you can hold that position. And then with extension, you're going to say this. With extension, what we're going to do, and, and kind of right on the lumbar region, we're going to come bring his body forward. And again, trying to keep his shoulders right over his pelvis. And again, you're always assessing pain. I know I didn't really say that again, but I always want to make sure you assess the baseline pain before you get into it. Okay, so stay there. So then I'll go right into rotation from this point. So I can go flexion, extension, rotation, right away. So you want to kind of come a little bit more in front of the patient. And when I'm coming through rotation, I'm grabbing onto his opposite scapula here and rotating into that end range. And you could even bring him into slight flexion and do the same thing. But to start, we'll keep him in a neutral position. And then going to that end range. Can you um, flex me a little bit? Where are you just stepping in? Different. Cause was, so you guys, I know you guys, I heard you guys, a bunch of you guys going over the different uh, biomechanics and X, Y, Z axis. And you know that like a couple positions and learn flexion. And we'll go through that a little bit later. Uh, so I expect all you guys to know the answer. So you're really just checking again that those biomechanical movements. Like you're going to get different mobility depending on their inflection or extension. Where's their wrist in those places? So. so when you do, when I do rotation, I tend to go from one side to the other. You want to be able to assess the difference of one side to the other. So I'll usually flip around. But for the sake of this, we'll cross both arms now. And what you want to do for side bending is come underneath his body here, and you're supporting him. And what I'm going to do is bring him towards me while I'm kind of bringing my body upward. So you can see where I'm trying to really tense that, that those structures on the outside there. Just like that. And again, you want to try to keep them as neutral as possible. So in there, you want to make sure you're not getting any rotation out, rotational aspects as well. All right, 